All right, what's going on, YouTube guys? Now, in today's video, boys, I'm going to teach you guys how to get zero input delay on Warzone. Now, this is something that every, um, this, this is like a secret setting that every, like, Warzone player slash pro player is using as of right now. And a lot of you guys need, need to get on this, this, um, this setting real quick because it is game changing a lot. Now, with this setting, guys, um, it's going to pretty much help you guys out if you're on console and especially if you're on PC, all right? Okay, quick disclaimer real quick, guys. Now, a lot of stuff that I'm going to say in today's video, especially about the console, um, a lot of you guys might not know about but i'm pretty sure there are some people who will watch the video and they're not going to know what that is exactly and some people like, like don't really do this in general okay so it's going to help out everybody in general all right all right guys so let's get started let's just start with the sentence real quick for the console okay if you guys start trying to get like zero input delay okay now listen guys if you're one of those players right who are pretty much just playing you know like the on a like red controller you know is bluetooth listen guys do not play on bluetooth okay like i don't know what is this little white i, I don't know what Whatever. but listen guys if you are playing bluetooth like for games in general like for fortnite battlefield anything that's fps related you guys do not want to play bluetooth at all whatsoever just because you will get a lot of input delay and it will pretty much just be unplayable okay but listen guys if you guys are playing wired guys trust me hear me out like this man if you're on console guys you guys need to play on on a wired connection and when i say that for console players you're gonna have no type of input delay at all whatsoever i really do mean that okay so that's pretty much one tip to get rid of um input delay if you are on a controller um, playing on console, okay? All right, guys, so pretty much meant for the next setting, right? Okay, now what you need to pretty much do is make sure, okay, this is pretty much like a um, a controller slash PC setting, okay? Now, this is where you're gonna get pretty much zero input delay. I'm gonna also show you how to do it for um, PS5 also, okay? Um, so let's, so for the uh, controller version, right, or how to overclock your controller, how to get zero input delay, this is all you need to do, okay? Obviously, you need a wired connection, okay? You need a wire to your controller, all right? But listen, okay, so what you guys, what you guys wanna do right it search yourself github.com slash load of my slash um um hid usbf okay i want to pretty much put that in the description box just so you guys can find it easier and all that good stuff all right now the first thing that you want to do right is make sure you guys are going all the way down right and click this right here okay click this guys and make sure that you are pressing download all right so as you see already i already downloaded this plenty of times or whatever but i'm gonna go ahead and just go through it um some more just so you guys can see um exactly what i'm doing all right so let's go ahead and get straight into it real quick let me make sure i got this up just so you guys can see it um so pretty much guys we're gonna go ahead and open this real quick um show in folder right so we're gonna press this we're gonna do extract files okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna pretty much extract this file to my desktop gonna press okay all right so let's go ahead and exit out this real quick let me see where did they put it at on my all right they put it over here bet 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 so you see right here guys we got this right here I'm gonna press driver all right so i'm gonna pretty much do this with you guys all the way through okay so um you're gonna you're gonna open up driver right the file you're gonna press setup okay make sure you guys are pressing the setup and it's gonna give you this thing right here is gonna pop up okay I'm pretty sure once you guys open it, you're not gonna see nothing at all whatsoever, okay? So for this, right, for devices, you gotta make sure that you are putting it on all, right? And hear me out, guys. Now, this is what your stuff should say, okay? Your filter should be on yes, the rate should be on thousand, and this should be on one, okay? This is all it should be, all right? Now, hear me out, guys. If, the only way this is gonna work is if you do this, okay? And it's kind of funny because at first I could not get it work the first time. So pretty much what you want to do, right? In order for you to find the word, just so you guys can figure out, you know, which one is yours, because you're gonna see a lot of things that says USB device or whatever, okay? If you're trying to figure out which one is yours or whatever, just keep on disconnecting it and stuff like that, and just see which one disappears, and you'll be able to like just follow along, um, just um, with it or whatever, okay? So make sure you guys are doing that real quick. And for this, right? So see, this is mine, okay? You wanna make sure that you are pretty much clicking on filter on device. It's gonna it's gonna be on click, so it's gonna say no, okay? You wanna have your stuff uh, filter on device. You wanna make sure that your rate is set to a thousand. I'm pretty sure by default, mainly I think it's at 500 because you guys do not know yet. Uh, if you do not overclock your controller, right? Even even if you are plugging it to like an Ethernet core, I said Ethernet core tripping uh, to a wired controller, um, your controller is still gonna be at a five millisecond, okay? And that is not very very good, especially for competitive gaming and stuff like that. It's for somebody who is very very um. Um, into like playing wars on a lot of times they prove your controller is about to fall at five millisecond okay so if you want to get better guys i highly recommend you guys overclock your controller and this is exactly stuff that you need guys need to do okay 
so for this right here guys man make sure that you are pressing your select the rate to a thousand okay make sure you guys are putting a thousand guys this is pretty much one millisecond okay and the first thing that you guys need to do once you guys do fix on device on uh, set to a thousand on uh, select rate you want to make sure that you are pressing on um install service okay so that's gonna pretty much um overclock your trailer right there and listen guys you do not have to have this thing open at all times whatsoever it's kind of like one of those once you do it once you don't gotta ever just do it again so just to check to see if you got it like i said just go ahead and unplug your own core real quick and just put it back in and uh, boom, you should be fine, guys. And right there, hey, your your control is overclocking. You're gonna go crazy, okay? Now, guys, man, I hope you guys did enjoy that gameplay, right? I said the gameplay, that uh, tutorial real quick on how to overclock your controller. This is something that I feel like that every person needs to do. Um, I do apologize that for console players, that's not there's not that many stuff that you can do other than just that. Just make sure that you are you are playing with a core, because I know a lot of people who do not play with cords, uh, for whatever reason that may be. But for PC players, guys, if you are playing, um pc on like if you're playing like a controller for warzone or any game in general you got to make sure that your that your controller is overclocked okay make sure you guys are doing that okay and listen guys i'm gonna go ahead and give you another setting for pretty much what is for um i guess you could say uh ps5 all right now guys now if you are playing on a ps5 controller um the one thing i do recommend you guys to do i do not know how to set this up at all whatsoever but i'm gonna go ahead and link you guys the video to look at just so you guys are trying to overclock your ps5 controller but if you are using a ps5 controller it's Sadly, I don't think people, I don't think PS5 controllers use the same, um, you know, the same um, setting as PS4 controllers do to overclock controller. I believe they gotta do something like way, way different or whatever. So I'm gonna go ahead and link you guys down the link to this just so you guys can download this along with a YouTube video for you guys to watch just so you guys can overclock your controller just because there's so many tutorials out there on how to exactly overclock your controller, okay? All right, man, so I hope you guys did enjoy today's video, man. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, guys, and drop a like today's video. If this video was helpful, man, let me know down there by hitting that sub button guys and yeah you know down in the comments what tutorial i should do next guys and yeah it's your boy standing guys not my boys peace